just so you know what the general public is seeing. You will, of course, see and hear everything. I'm also allowing, contrary to what is often in the rules of decorum that we operate under, that they can refer to other people who are at the scene by their first names, as opposed to Mr. or Ms. So uh, that's with court permission. They're not violating anything by doing so. So with that, uh, the state will be bringing in its next witness. It's Letty! Oh, you we lit, lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me get with me, it's Letty! Lit box TV. It's lit! All right, y'all, welcome to Lit box TV. I'm Lord Akim. Today, we're going to talk about the Derek Chauvin trial. I'm watching the trial. Um... And something very interesting happened during the trial. It's something that the judge did that I want to share with y'all. And I want to explain to y'all exactly why the judge did this. Um, this video is it's for everybody, but it's mainly for my sovereigns, the people who, who know, who go in these courts and, and as sovereigns and know how to, you know, go in there and proper person. And, you know, this is just... Um, to show y'all that we on the right track, that we do know what we talking about when we say these, that these courts are not allowed to deal with living souls and they're only allowed to deal with fictitious entities. So when you go in there and you tell them that I am a natural living soul, they have no jurisdiction over you. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds bugged out, but that's a fact, okay? And a video I'm about to play from the Derek Chauvin trial is going to prove exactly what I just said. And I don't think um, they meant to let, let the cat out the bag like this. They didn't mean to do that. Understand? But uh, I'm, I, it, it, it's just, I can't even, I, I can't even believe it. But it's, it's proof and I'm going to show it to you. But um, before I get into that. I want to tell y'all how I address the courts. Like when I go to court, you know how you go to court and they call your name and they say, uh, you know, the the court officer or the, the court secretary, the court clerk, she goes, uh, yeah, next case is docket number such and such and such and such, uh, the state of blah, 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 versus Lord Akema Law. And they call you up. And then your lawyer goes, yeah, such and such, such and such for the legal aid and then, you know, or the district attorney will say who she is or he is on, on record. And then the judge will tell you to state your name for the record. And most people, damn near 99.9% .9 of the people say, yeah, my name is Lord Akimala. And right there, right there, you already lost. You already lost the case. Because you admitted to be the fictitious entity. Okay? Now, black people, we come from tribes. Okay? And tribes, uh, people that are, that's a part of a tribe don't have last names. They have tribal names. So if your name is John Smith, right? If you was a part of a tribe, you would be John of the Smith tribe, okay? And no one would call you John Smith. When you go travel somewhere, they go, who are you? Oh, I'm John of the Smith tribe, okay? Because we were tribal people. But when they enslaved us, they gave us their names and they branded us and they made us fictitious entities with first and last names, okay? And our last name was usually the slave master's last, uh, last name, okay? Or the slave master's name. You know, or has something to do with that, right? So, you know, when they call me up to court and they go state your name for the records, this is my little thing I put together. I go, yes, I'm Lord Akim of the All Our Family, appearing specially, never generally, appropriate persona, sejuris, under duress, all rights reserved. Good morning, Your Honor. That's how I introduce myself every court day. And everybody in there be looking at me like, oh, what is this fool doing? Until the case get dismissed. And then they be like, hold on, what did he just do? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Lord, I came of the RLR family. I'm letting you know right there I'm from a tribe. I'm not one of your subjects. Okay? I'm not one of your little citizens. 
okay and if if i do have any documents that say i'm a citizen it's because i'm under duress because i'm forced to get this in order to co conduct business in this country otherwise i wouldn't use it okay so lord i came up the all our family i'm letting you know i'm from a tribe okay i'm a natural living soul i only got a first name natural living souls only have first names so again it's lord i came up the all our family appearing specially Never general, meaning I'm not here for general purposes. I'm making a special appearance. This is a special appearance. I'm not none of these general people in here for general purposes, okay? This is a special appearance for y'all to prove jurisdiction or show that y'all have standing in this matter. So now people who understand jurisdiction and standing know what I'm talking about, okay? So now it's um, appearance specially, never generally, and propria persona. What does impropria persona means? And you notice I'm not reading off any notes because this is just here. I've been studying this so long, okay? Propria persona means improper person, okay? So anytime you go in court, they want you to either be a citizen or a pro se. They want you to proceed pro se. And once you allow them to call you a pro se person, then that means you can be prosecuted by the prosecutor. You understand? So that's why you never... They're going to say, oh, the defendant is pro se, and you correct them. Every time they say something that you don't agree with, you object. I'm not pro, I'm not pro se. I'm in propria persona. Okay? That means improper person. And, and my, I'm here physically, me, the, 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 real, the real human being, the flesh and blood, not the fictitious entity y'all created with the birth certificate. Okay? The real me is here. Insecurious of my own right. Okay, meaning I'm from I'm from a tribe and we got our own laws and our own rights. Okay, so unless you got jurisdiction over me or proper standing, jurisdiction just means you know you you have the right to bring me into your courtroom. And standing means that some you 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 got a contract or something from a complaint from someone about me. Okay, in most cases they don't have the proper standing, right? Okay, so you know. That, and like I said, um, under duress, I already explained to you what that means. Like I'm here under duress. If I didn't have to be here, I wouldn't be here. Y'all forcing me here. I don't want to be here. Okay? So you're letting them know I'm under duress. And then all rights reserved. Meaning just because I'm here don't mean I waive any of my rights. So you have to let them know that. You know? And then I say I say that every court, every time I go to court, any courtroom, I don't care what courtroom is in. Yeah, Lord, I came with all our family appearing specially, never generally, appropriate persona, sejuris, under duress, all rights reserved. Period. And so let's get into this this judge. I'm gonna play the video right now. I'm gonna um look at it while I play it for y'all, so I could kind of go over exactly what this judge is doing but i'm gonna throw it up on the screen but i'm gonna play it from my phone right here um. members of the jury uh our next four witnesses are going to be persons who because of their age i am allowing them not to be on the video broadcast obviously you will be able to see them in the courthouse but just so you know what is going out beyond this courtroom their video will not be shown Further, when they uh, give their name and spell their names for the record, that will be off the audio that is being broadcast outside this courtroom. Just so you know what the general public is seeing, you will of course see and hear everything. I'm also allowing, contrary to what is often in the rules of decorum that we operate under, that they can refer to other people who are at the scene by their first names, as opposed to Mr. or Ms. So, uh, that's with court permission. They're not violating anything by doing so. So with that, uh, the state will be bringing in its next witness. Did y'all hear that? Let me play that again. Listen to what he's saying. Just so you know what the general public is seeing, you will of course see and hear everything. Listen to this. Contrary to what is often in the rules of decorum that we operate Contrary to what's in the rules of decorum. Okay? Contrary to how we do things around here, today we are going to allow people to use their first names. Listen to what he's saying. Right under, that they can refer to other people who are at the scene by their first names, as opposed to 
Mr. or Ms. So uh, that's with court permission. As opposed to Mr. or Miss, in court, everything is Mr., Miss, Sergeant, Judge, Attorney. This is titles, okay? All those titles are fictitious, okay? Mommy, Daddy, Parent, Guardian, Siblings, okay? All that's fictitious, okay? What's real is Mother, Father, Man, woman son daughter okay so listen to what he's saying that's with court permission they're not violating anything by doing so that's with court's permission so you mean to tell me the court have to give you permission to use your first name like think about that and only your first name and this is from day two of the trial right now, when you watching this trial, notice how every time they refer to George Floyd as just George or anyone by just their first name or a single name, the, the defense attorney or the district attorney corrects them. When you say George, you're, you're talking to, you mean Mr. Floyd, right? Or when you say George, you mean George Floyd, right? Correct, okay? Why do they do that? Why can't I just say George? Why can't you hear George and then they say, oh, well, when you said George, you meant Mr. Floyd, correct? Why do they, why must I, why must they let me know or let us know that, that the person I'm referring to is the fictitious entity called Mr. Because Mr. and Mrs., those are fictitious titles. Those are fictitious. That's, 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 that's something they created. Okay? So. You got to understand. Now, let me finish playing the video real quick. Let me play it back a little bit one more time. Because y'all got to understand what this, this is going, what's really going on here. Listen to what he's saying. Just so you know what the general public is seeing, you will, of course, see and hear everything. I'm also allowing, contrary to what is often in the rules of decorum that we operate under, that they can refer to other people who are at the scene by their first names, as opposed to Mr. or Ms. So uh, that's with court permission. Living souls only have first names, okay? And the courts cannot, they cannot deal with living souls. So anytime you in court, all you have to do is go in there and say, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not that fictitious entity. Cause think about this. My name is Lord Akim Allah. I could change that. I don't have to let that be my name anymore. I'm still gonna be me though. I can't change this body. This body is what's real. The name is not real. The name is something that some was given to me by someone. I don't have to keep that. I don't have to accept it. And I don't have to claim to be that. But if you call me that and I say, yes, that's what I am, then whatever you say is going to happen to that is going to happen to me because I said that I'm that. I said I'm that fake person. You said, Lord, I came along. Are you here? And I said, yes, Lord, I came along. is right here like a fool. When I said it said, no, no, Lord, I came Allah is not here. He's there in your hand. Or here's my birth certificate. Here's Lord I came Allah. I'm Lord I came of the Allah family. I'm a real human being. So I don't know who that fictitious person is that y'all bringing charges up against. But it got nothing to do with me unless I did something to somebody. So now prove your standing. Show me the verified complaint from the victim. You must show me that. You must show me that to show that you got proper standing. Show me the verified complaint. Who said I did something to them? Where they at? Because it's my right to confront them in court, in open court. So you, you got to understand these 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 cases that they bringing people in, and, and there's no verified complaint from a a, a victim. It's fraud, and y'all allowing them to defraud y'all. Okay, I'm just not gonna allow it because I study. So a lot of this is going to sound like Charlie Brown teacher to people who don't study. But the people who study this, they know what I'm talking about right now. And they know this was a home run for sovereigns. They know what that judge just admitted was a home run because he validated what we already knew. 
they, they cannot deal with natural living souls in these fictitious kangaroo courts. They cannot. Okay? And that's what that proved. And I just wanted to show y'all that. You know? Like, study. Like, like, I don't watch all this stupid entertainment. Like, we gotta really study. Get off all of that entertainment. Like, it's cool, but balance it out. We have to study because if we're not studying, they're studying us. If we're not studying them, we're going to continue to keep losing. That's just it. Like, so we have to understand what they're doing. Now, watch the trial. Everybody watching this trial now. Watch when they mention George or anybody else without a title to it, how they're corrected. Or without a first and last name, how the district attorney and the uh, defense attorney is going to correct them because the courts, because when they go to law school, they're trained that they have to deal with citizens and a citizen is a fictitious entity. OK, that's why they always ask you on everything they before they give you anything. Are you a citizen? Are you a U.S. citizen? Because if you're not, we ain't giving you nothing. Are you one of our citizens? Because that's all we're going to help. If you're not one of our citizens, then you're on your own. And that's for welfare. That's for taxes. That's for job applicants. That's all type of stuff. They ask you, are you a U.S. citizen? They always ask that question. Okay? And just put no. And see if you get anything. You're not going to get anything. Because these laws are there to benefit the citizens. And the laws are there to... Uh, 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 the laws are there for and put in place for the citizens, okay? So if, if you break a law and then I bring you in court and I ask you, are you a citizen? And you say yes, then you were supposed to follow those laws because those laws are for citizens and you just said you're a citizen, okay? So why the hell you broke the citizens' laws? But if you bring me in court for breaking some citizens' laws and the first thing you ask me is, am I a citizen? And I go, no, then you don't have no jurisdiction over me. You have nothing on me. You got to prove I'm a citizen. And so you might say, okay, well, you got an ID? And I go, yeah, but I got this. This is because I'm under duress. If I don't have this, I can't do anything. So it's kind of like y'all forcing me to get this. You understand what I'm saying? That's coercion. Y'all forcing me to get this by telling me if I don't have this, I can't get that. And I need that for, for my livelihood. So y'all forcing me to get this. That's duress. That's coercion. Okay, when you know that, then you, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, oh, this birth certificate, I, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask my mother, I didn't ask my mother and father for that. They did that, I don't want it. I don't want it. Y'all keep it. And then there's another thing called subrogation. We gonna, we, I'm not even going, because I'm telling you it's going to sound like womp, 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 womp. You notice I don't got no notes for this. This is this is my feel right here. You understand? But I'm gonna make a video about the word subrogation. Okay? Subrogation is it's like every time someone is arrested, okay? In order to protect you, the district attorney has to create a bond to protect you from injury. Okay? To pay to pay charges if he's wrong. And stuff like that. So they create this this bond and stuff like that. And 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 if you certify your right to segregation, that means that all charges that's being brought upon me, I certify my right to segregation. So that bond that y'all use to protect me against injury, yeah, use that bond to pay these charges because it's all monetary things anyway. That's why time is money and money is time. Oh, give us a pay us the fine or get your ass in jail. Because we're going to make money if you're in jail and we're going to make money if you pay the fine. That's how it is. Period. So when they give somebody 15 years, it's just 15 years worth of money. That's really all it is. These are corporations. These are businesses. And once you understand that, then you'll stop treating these people like they, they, they got these big time rights over you. They got rights over you if you give it to them. If, if, if you allow them to tell you what to do then they're going to tell you what to do but if you know your rights you know like this is dangerous information here like this is the shit that get people popped you understand 
Like, and I'm giving it to y'all for free. So y'all gotta really take this and learn something and 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 and, and educate yourselves and study. And hold up and start holding up the line in court and start going in there like a bunch of bozos, just copping out to everything and doing whatever they say. And study. And, 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 and I'm telling you, you're going to be nervous. The first man, when I first started learning this stuff, I would go in court and I start my little Lord, I came into all our family, blah, blah, blah. And I run down and then middle, middle of it, they'll just say some stuff and it'll just throw me off. Cause I ain't studied that far. So I get caught up and then they'll say something and I won't object and then I go home and I think about it like, damn, I should object to that. I should have never let them say it. So it's a process. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a process. It's like, you know, you want to be a fighter, you got to go in there and get beat up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You want to get a win, you got, might have to take some L's. But don't be afraid of those L's because them L's going to create the W's for you, the wins. Like, you know, there's no such thing as a mistake. If you learn from it, there's no there's no loss if you learn if you if you learn from it. But if you just get arrested, go in court and pay some stupid fine, go back out there and do the same, then you ain't really learn from it. You gotta learn how to deal with these people because they're trained how to deal with you. And I'm trying to train y'all on how to deal with them. But more like it, it, it is a form of training. But I really want to educate y'all. I don't want to just train y'all because training y'all is me telling y'all how to think. I want to educate y'all. I want y'all to figure it out on your own. Like, oh, now I get it. Because then you'll be able to just represent it more once it's, it's you. And that's why people are always asking, can you come into court with me? No, I can't come into court with you. No, I can't. I'm not going to do that. It's kind of like, what, what's going to happen if they see Lord I Kim walk in there with 20 different people? They're going to they say, oh, this is where these niggas is learning all this shit from. Get his ass and these niggas going to stop. So no, I'm not going in there with y'all. This is, this is a battle you have to fight on your own. This is not no battle you hire somebody for. You can't hire a lawyer for this battle. You can't, you can't bring, you got to man up or woman up and just go handle your business. But you got to study first. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to leave it at that, yo. Um, but listen, watch that trial. There's a lot of other stuff I could point out about that trial where they just really exposing themselves. But I like to watch this type of stuff because you learn a lot of behind the scenes stuff and what they do behind the scenes and why they do certain things the way they do it. But that judge just proved what, what so many sovereigns and, and real freedom fighters and, and people who really know their rights in this country has always been saying they have no rights over us. They have none over natural living souls. So when you in court, you got to let them know I'm a real person. I'm a natural living soul. And they say, Lord, I came or whatever your name is, John Smith. Don't go, John. John Smith, you here? And you step up and they say, state your name for the record. The minute you say John Smith, it's over for you because you're in a jurisdiction. You just admitted to being a citizen. So study. Peace. It's Lenny. Oh, yeah, we lit. Lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get. You know how I get. You know I'm legit. You know I'm legit. You know I be lit. You know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me, get with me. It's Lenny. Lit box TV. It's lit.